Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can import KML files into the new version of Google Earth. You may remember that yesterday Google unveiled a new browser-based version of Google Earth, and while it's great for exploring, it's not as good for creation as the old version was, but there are some workarounds. So if you want to make your own place marks to appear in Google Earth, you're going to need to go to mymaps.google.com and create a new map. Or if you have an existing map, you can do this with an existing map. But let's look, look at how to create a map. So let's do a map of places I like in Maine. My favorite places. And I'm going to create this layer here, and I'll just call it my favorite outdoor spots. And so I'm going to go and look for one of my favorite outdoor spots, which is Moosehead Lake in Maine. And I'm going to add my own place mark here. Add a marker. I'm going to put it right here in Rockwood. And we're going to say that I love to go to Tom Hegan Camps. And of course, if you want to add a picture, you can. Uh, you can upload a picture or you can find one online to use in your map. So if I want to do a Google image search, I want to do a picture of ice fishing. And we'll save that. And I'll add one more place. Let's add Sunday River. And again, I'm going to add my own place mark. Say Sunday River. Great scheme. So I now have my couple of places that I've added to my map. Now, what I want to do with this is I want to save all of these places as a KML file. Now, to do this, I'm going to go up here next to the title of my map that I've just created and select Export to KML. I'm going to use the entire map. And I have that saved as a file on my desktop now. Now to use that in Google Earth, I'm going to go over here and make sure I have in my settings turned on the option to import KML file. And I do. And now here in the bookmarks, I'm going to select import KML file. And I can find that on my desktop. A map of places I like in Maine. We can go ahead and now we see those places added to my file. So those are now saved in my bookmarks and we can see the two places that I've added. There's my place mark and there's my other place mark. Now, unfortunately, the new version of Google Earth does not have an option for recording a tour as you could do in the desktop version of Google Earth. So if you want to record a tour, you do have to use the desktop version of Google Earth. But here, at least we can import a set of place markers using a KML file. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com. And if this is your first time looking at Google Earth, go back to my previous video, which is linked at the end here, to learn how to use the basics of Google Earth.